Redmayne and Catherine Waterstone. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. No, not a problem. Pledge. Now, it, Potter series, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. So, uh, story set 70 years before the Potter series. Which is the, yourself. That's, yeah. That'll be me. Yeah. But he's, I think he's the only yeah, magizoologist. He's the only one. <laughs> and yeah. he's endangered magical creatures. And they live in his case. And he arrives in New York, and a few escape. And he bumps into this one. He and has to clean up the whole mess. <laughs> he has to clean the whole mess up, basically. <laughs> exactly. Um, but it's, it's all very good. We'll talk about the film later. Men don't talk about it, do they? And it is important. That, that, isn't it? It's yeah. a brilliant idea. And, and I think you're right. Women talk about it more and, yeah. and men much less so. So it's, that's a great um, advertisement for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk more about the film then. Fantastic Beast. I mean, any Harry Potter before Shh, now. Don't, no one. <laughs> don't, don't admit it. There's know. a whole Quidditch team Are we on there? television? <laughs> Is, I'm into it now, massively, yeah. <laughs> really into it. But yeah, there's, well, there's a term I just learned, it's called Easter eggs, which is like when a script has little clues for people, um, the big fans will be able to pick up on things that are hidden in there, but absolutely, even if you haven't seen it, you're able to completely follow Hang on, the story. that's called Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Yeah, it is. E it's yeah. so weird. I was asked at Comic-Con, this huge thing, I was running it, and he asked me about what the Easter <laughs> 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 little nuggets of information that uh, some people who are um, super familiar with the world. So let's, yeah. Yeah, oh, exactly. Right. So there are clues for the super fans, but... I'm so pleased you didn't know what that was as well. Oh, no, I, I learned it from many of them. But one thing you do know is... Yes, I play Porpentina Goldstein. Uh, most people call her Tina, but... I just love that full name, so whenever oh, anyone Tina. asks me, I've never I heard that think, name. That's a brilliant yeah. name for the yeah. baby. Pop and How Tina. big of a fan of our film are you? <laughs> um, yeah, and she she's a recently demoted Auror at Makusa, and Makusa stands for the Magical Congress of the United States of America. So she's basically like a magical detective who uh, got demoted at work, and um, her career is the thing that works in her life. So when she loses it, she's kind of a little bit at sea and there's this sort of I feel like her subplot in the movie is a little bit how Tina got her groove back yeah. because you know Fantastic Beast and how <laughs> Tina got her groove back. Because <laughs> <laughs> when she meets him and you know he uh, Oh you can imagine look at it you know look at the guy. <laughs> oh shit. Well let's take a look at your face. He's quite a sort of don't panic Mr. Man. Oh <laughs> and I love yeah, yeah. 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 So it was a while after you got the part that you got to meet um, JK Rowling. Is she intimidating or is she really kind? Because she had quite specific notes about how she wanted the characters played, didn't she? Because she's the boss, isn't she? She's she, on set. It's amazingly nerve wracking when you first meet her, but she <clears throat> I think she's so used to people being incredibly humble and as like, one of the kindest people I've met as well. Yeah. And she kind of You know when she shakes your hand, yeah. does she? No, or she, she calls Joe. 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 Yeah. yeah. Joe. And right. then you feel yes. like when you call when you call her sort of Joe in interviews, it's a bit like calling Robert De Niro Bob. Bob. Yeah. 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 I want to be too presumptuous. Just, you know? <laughs> See Newt when he's first described in the script. Right. The description around it is just so detailed and kind of infectious and when you first see him he was described as having a Buster Keaton-esque quality oh and 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 a sort of specific walk which is kind of really exciting for an actor and really scary because I was like what it is right okay, okay. I went into a YouTube hole right and, <laughs> and, uh, and found the thing okay yeah. Um, well, the My job is to like track creatures. Okay. And so he um, he does this walk. Like if you're being really an animal, or not chasing an animal, like saying, he you keep one foot out like this, and you go. Ooh, there you do. <laughs> and he he stood like this. So I basically made uh, Newt like walk like until I run. <laughs> <laughs> and when he runs, his muscles in my groin. <laughs> But do you know what's so annoying is even when he had his feet out turned, he's still like ten times faster than I am, and we had to run holding hands. And so we they call action, and I'd pull every muscle from the waist Aww. down because he ran so damn fast. But oh. we heard Catherine. Darn. Yep. I just demonstrated it. Uh, this this is your floor. Really oh, come on, I know you're right. Come on. You can just do the arms. Well, you know what? I, I think I can do it in the heels. I mean. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, it's you got yeah. 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 What a fantastic group of people they are. Eddie, you're, you're taking part in Children in Need as well. Something kind of fun 
Oh. And we can see that on the night. Can you can we see on that Friday? on the night, absolutely. Okay. You can, okay. I'm just a fan of Harry Potter. And when you got the part, she was over the moon, wasn't she? Mum lives in Edinburgh, and I used to go and stay with her, and I'd make her... I said... <laughs> um, and, uh, so she's very happy. Yeah, she's excited. Uh, uh, she is, I think, I hope. Well, let's say hello. Mary Burke. Oh, yeah, very nice. And Catherine, you're about to star in another big British franchise. Yes. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah, haven't seen well. the aliens I've seen. <laughs> oh. But you've faced. Yeah, but I was sort of running towards the problem in Fantastic Beasts, whereas an alien, I'm kind of running from it. <laughs> I mean, franchises. Yes. I mean, I won't be watching it. And, and Ridley is a little sadistic, you know. He likes it to feel pretty scary on set, you know. Yeah. Um, there were days when there were really just enormous aliens so chasing what? me in <laughs> spacesuits. What's your part in it, then? Are you allowed to say that much? Um, I uh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I thought we just caught yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I had good practice with Fantastic Beasts, at keeping my lips zipped. So okay, yeah. you know, fair you enough. You always feel like there's snipers that are going to take. Well, you they're out. definitely yeah. cameras. Definitely <laughs> cameras. Sin and uh, the walk. And whatever that was, brilliant. my walk. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. Uh,